Welcome to E! News. It's Josh Dallas and... Melissa Roxburgh. Roxburgh? Roxburgh, my bad. Ro she doesn't you should have know. introduced me after all. Roxburgh. Yeah, yeah. Like Edinburgh. Like Edinburgh. In Scotland. <laughs> where my people are from. Scotland. Okay. <laughs> I've got some questions for you, Melissa. Do you have questions for me? I, I think I've got questions for you, too. Is that true? It's crazy. Okay. You want to go first? Or I'll go first. Fire away. Ladies first. Ladies first. It says okay. Josh Dallas here. What do you think of Josh Dallas? <laughs> okay. Josh answer Dallas. Answer to question one. No, that <laughs> is that I, what actually the question is? Uh, was your answer? Josh Dallas is great. He's okay. Prince Charming on Thank and you. off screen. Thank you. Melissa. Tell me. How would you describe Manifest in 15 seconds? 15 seconds? Are you going to time me? Yep. Okay. Go. Manifest is about an airplane that goes missing and returns after five and a half years and no time has passed for anyone on the airplane and they have to come back and readjust to a world that has completely changed. What happened to the airplane and what's happening? Ah! It's pretty good. Yeah, I did that pretty good. That was pretty good. Yeah. I mean, that was enticing. I want to watch it. Okay. What <laughs> is your worst personal travel horror story? Um, my worst travel... Um, or have you had good experiences? All good? No horrors? I had I had an old man, you know, cross cross his his armrest line. That's disgusting. Yeah. How do you feel about the description that manifest is lost in reverse? I love that you know Lost fans might also love our show. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of differences. I think you know some people have called it Lost in Reverse. Have you heard that? I have heard you that. You have heard that. I have heard that. Um, but yeah, it's about an airplane that goes missing, same as Lost. But our story also focuses a lot on, you know, the family dynamics and complex relationships that, that happen within this family and all the passengers on the plane. And, yeah. Melissa Roxborough, that is card number one. Woo! Okay, my turn. It says my name on the top in case I forgot. Uh. Josh. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Melissa. When you're working on a show with a mystery like Manifest, mm. Do you like to know where these things are going, or would you prefer to stay in the dark and learn from week to week? You know what, Melissa? Tell me, Josh. The answer to that question is it depends on the project, but with mm. Manifest, I don't want to know. I want to be in the dark. I want to discover this along with my character yeah. and along with the audience. You're going to be shocked and surprised. That's right. Okay, question number two. Oh, this one's a cute one for all you oncers. How are you adjusting? to working on a show without your lovely wife, Jennifer, after years on Once Upon a Time. Me. You know what, I gotta I say it. Think. What? What? I gotta say it's hard. It's hard, you know, she is uh, not only the love of my life, but she is a, an exceptional actress, and to be on, on set with her every day is, is like going to school. So uh, I miss that, and I will always miss that. And you know, to work with her is is the best. So yeah, but you know, I'm adjusting. <laughs> I'm working through it. I mean, I'm working with you know this Melissa Roxborough, and you know, you're uh, you're pretty good. So, okay. okay. Yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be okay. If anyone thought love was dead, um, <laughs> that was a good answer. Still alive. He's still alive. 